resuming, closing up the hamburger. This is the recap up top. That's the statement balance that we entered into the system as we can see there. And this is the cleared balance, which does not match, but should at the end of the day, this cleared balance is made up of the beginning balance, which of course is this balance for the February statement, the same as the ending balance for the January statement. And we worked on the additions last time, which were the 51,981. Uh, and I think those check off to here. Uh, there they are, 51,981,20, right? That's what they are. Don't forget those pennies. And then we've got, now if I just get the payments correct, we should be go to, good to go. And we're off by 11,633, which happens to be the payment amount. So everything looks like it's going like it should. Now we have to do the most difficult part though, the payments. Remember what we have on the bank statement to help us out with the payments is if we wrote checks, then we're going to have the check number to help us out. We'll have the amount, but the date will not be as relevant because the checks could take a long time to clear. The date represents the clear date, not the date that we wrote them. If we had transfers of some, of some kind, then the date will be more relevant, even if we're using a full service system, even if we're not entering the items into our system based on the bank, but uh, there still could be some timing difference. And then we would have the amount and we might also have some information in the memo, which might indicate things like the vendor. If we constructed our books from the bank using bank feeds, then it's going to be a lot easier than it'll be really easy because this stuff should tie out exactly because we made our books from the transactions. Many small businesses, by the way, might structure their system where on the payment side of things, they can basically be automated using the bank in order to record the transactions, but might not have the luxury of doing that on the deposit side of things due to the nature of their business. But here we wrote mostly checks, so we're gonna have these timing differences we'll have to deal with. We're always gonna go from the bank statement to the books because it might be on the bank if it's on the bank statement and not on our books we're gonna have to fix our books most likely unless the bank is wrong if it's on our books and not on the bank statement that is quite likely if we if we if we have a full service accounting system because we're gonna have those timing differences okay 